Hi, I'm Wild Bill, that guy with the permanent bad beard day. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that I hold very dear and feel it's important for every musical performer to understand. There are Beatles tribute bands, Pink Floyd tribute bands, Chuck Berry tribute bands, Eagles tribute bands, Allman Brothers tribute bands, Leonard Skinner tribute bands, Grateful Dead tribute bands, Nirvana tribute bands. Why not learn songs from all the above bands and offer a mix? It might broaden your venue appeal. And now for a Wild Bill editorial. With zero offense intended, I will publicly claim that the best you can ever do is a crippled copy of someone else's song. You will never sound like the Beatles, thank goodness. Wall of Sound is, was, a producer trick meant to destroy cover acts. No one can faithfully reproduce it. That was the point. Wall of Sound is a racehorse designed by committee. Like sausage, watching how it's done will deaden your interest. Kaleidoscope and drug-addled culting multuralism. Now, I can't sing like Brad Yoder or John Porrible. Fortunately, both men have a solo career outside of what every studio in the world always gives you, overproduced crap. That means I can interpret their songs as a one-man act. My version won't be theirs, and darn good thing it is, they're worth hearing. I play piano far better than Paul McCartney, but Hey Jude and Let It Be will always be out of range for me because they're not honest representations of Paul's art. They are wall of sound productions that cannot be imitated live by cover acts. So, why are you trying to make yourself a crippled copy of someone else? You can never approach their success by lacking the huge investment of time and equipment that the wall of sound requires. Wall of sound was a trick, not a destination for future artists to emulate. My suggestion? I urge you all to work from inside your talent to create a set of personal favorite originals. Seems impossible? So does sex to the novice, but everyone does it eventually. Do not waste time trying to sound like someone else. You doing you will be far better, more honest, and repeatable every time you sit down or stand up to play. Feel you lack the talent for it? That your only course is trying to repeat the work of others rather than simply playing the occasional homage to a favorite performer or act? It's okay. If that is your strength limitation, then it is your duty to learn to play better by learning to read music from a chart, from manuscript. Tab is like pig Latin. It teaches nothing worth learning. Musical transcription, however, teaches everything. Thus will you be able to stand and deliver any time you sit or stand to try and reproduce the feel of the work of others. However, if you can play a song, anyone's song, it is my belief that you could write your own. Will your first song be a breakaway hit cherished by a generation? Will it be an utter flop you bury in the backyard like that pushy Jehovah's Witness guy who wouldn't leave your doorbell alone while you were on the can? Wait, did I say that out loud? Whoopsie. You may safely disregard that last. The point is, you won't know till you try. Don't try to be someone else. You could never do it. What you can do is to be the best you. No one else can do that. You'll be utterly unique, memorable, enjoyable in an industry where the grassroots level has all kinds of wiggle room for individuality. Consider, I can play other folks' stuff pretty darn well, sometimes better than the original. But wouldn't you rather hear the record? Yeah, me too. But want to know what I can do really, really well that no one else can copy? Be myself. Is a trepidation, anxiety, or fear stopping you from taking that seemingly enormous first step to musical independence? Don't worry. Frank Herbert's got you covered. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path where the fear has gone. There will be nothing. Only I will remain. Wild Bill, 25th of April, 2024.